Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about making other people feel jealous. Okay, so it is another beautiful Sunday afternoon here in England, right? The weather's like 26 degrees. We have like a nice breeze coming through. I mean, the weather could not be better. I had to do the video outside. And you know what? I think I found my new favorite video location, which is at the office on Sunday, because there's like nobody here. I can do it, just go outside, not have to worry about somebody walking their dog past. It's like, it's like a ghost town around here. Anyway, today I want to answer a, a comment that came in on yesterday's video, uh, which was called the My Second Biggest App, where I talked about some of my biggest app and the second biggest app. And there's a comment here by Amir Hamza. And Amir, I'm not calling you out here because I think it's a really good comment. Uh, he said, hide your success and fillers, man. All humans not the same. Some may get jealous. I don't know what you mean by fillers, but I, I get what you're saying, right? And this is something that comes into my mind every so often, especially when I show the car in the background. Like, am I just showing off? When I, like when I talk about you know, how some of the apps are doing, am I just showing off or is, is, this, is this useful to anybody, right? And when I show the, ca the car in the background, it's like the car I wanted to get since I was 16 years old. I wanted to get a Mustang. And then last year I finally got it, All right? So I'm kind of proud of the fact, but you know, it, it is kind of a, um, you know, am I just showing off, right? And then I started thinking about it. You know what? It's a really good point, but I also talk a lot about the failures that I have, you know, on this channel. And, and the, the goal here is not to talk about, like, to, to make people jealous of me. And by the way, in my mind, it's a, it's, it, I ha find it hard to believe that anybody's jealous of me or, or how the apps are doing because they're not, you know, they're doing okay, but they're not, they're not like million, they're not like Snapchat type, type things, at least not yet. I'm always working at it, trying to get the company going and everything like that. But, you know, there's this really famous um, uh, uh, quote or saying that's in a lot of business books and self-help books is just, you know, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Right, so this is something that that I find in terms of like mindset. So when it comes to things like business-wise or with the apps, one of the biggest problems I had is I didn't know any other people who were doing it. So like little things like um, when I hire a new employee for the business, right? I stress out about that a lot because I don't know anybody else who's done it. I might ask a few people, but I don't spend a lot of time with them. And I'm sure if I was around other business owners, these kind of things would seem simple to me. Like if you if you don't work out and you go to the gym and but like you hang around with people who are always lifting weights, you're going to feel like you're not doing enough. So it's just going to be like, that's a normal thing to do. Even buying this car last year, I talked a lot about how I stressed out about it a lot. And I still kind of do because I don't know anybody else who's bought a nice car. And that was like, if I knew other people who did, they'd be like, because I was like, saying, oh, what if the app market fails? What if, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if all of a sudden I can't afford it? And if I was around somebody who had one, they'd probably be like, yeah, hey, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. You know, I got one. You know, all, everybody around has one, but I don't. So well, one of the goals of this channel is to, is, is so that we can share these kind of things. Like you guys have had a lot of successes that I haven't had. You know, I've had some successes with apps that you, know, you may not have had, but that's, like we can't be worried about making other people feel jealous, right? I get more inspired when I see people doing better than I am than I see people doing the same, right? If you're, if you're always hanging around the same people, you're probably going to be the same as them, the same as the average of, of, of the five people around you, which is really hard if you're very introverted like I am. I just don't get out and meet lots of people. I don't go meet with other business owners that often, although I'm trying to do it more, more regularly now. And, uh, you know, so, but let me, let me know, guys. I mean, I... I don't want to have to hide anything. I don't want to have to hide the successes or the failures, right? I want to be able to be open and honest with you. Sometimes when I talk about my failures, right, there'd be comments in there that say, like, you know, how can you be so stupid? You know, how, how could you have not have figured this out? But, you know, that's fine, right? It's, you know, we all make mistakes. We all have a little bit of success. We try things. They work. And that's, you know, if we can't be honest with each other, then, then why try it? But, you know, maybe I'm being a little bit flashy even today, putting it in the background. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Is it too much, right? For I think is for every person who's jealous of me, which, by the way, I, I can't imagine anybody being jealous of me. For anybody who's jealous of me, there's other people out there who probably pity me, saying, you know, Eric, he's really struggling with this, this part over here. It's, his business is not taken off the way, you know, like other businesses have. You know, somebody could start a business and in two years he has 50 employees and Eric has a business for, you know, 10 and it's still, you know, really small. So, you know, but all I can do is plug away at it and share with you guys how everything goes. And I appreciate it when you share everything with me in the comments. So anyway, that is it for today. 
I am going to enjoy this beautiful Sunday afternoon. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>